Hello everyone, I'm Greg Look, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 123 of Factorio with Angels and Bob Smarts, where we are once again working on our multi-different type of ore, sorting, smelting, purpose facility, and just started getting ready to sort for lead ore, which requires crushed rubite, so we need to go and mine that. And I know we didn't really need more lead at the main base, right now at least. But at some point, we will need it. Or we might need it at another outpost in small amounts, which we will then be able to produce from here. Until we maybe set up a mass production area. What does it take to mine the infinite stuff? Nitric acid. No idea when we will be able to get that, so we shall just start with normal ore. Maybe it would be easier to connect the power to the other miners. It's actually just running this. It's so hard to see the, your coverage here, but I guess it's just max minus one. I just want these to fit into the grid. And now I realize that's stupid because they are probably not lined up with these anyway and they're not. Oh well. We need to get it up here. And it doesn't really matter where it goes. We have a lot of space. Oh, and we didn't have any steel chest when we were here. We need to put these down with wires, though. Good. Oh, let's remove these artifacts. Good, and they are all wired up correctly. It just confused me that this was the one that wasn't allowed to do anything, but it is the correct one that is inserting into this. So it makes sense. Good, train. Is this named? Nope. Rubite one, I guess. Again, I really want to have fun with just calling all of the stations the same name and just limiting how many are allowed to go there at any one point in time. But I just feel like it's going to be a mess. But that's for the future to tell, I guess. <clears throat> Let's have this go deliver the small amount of ore that we currently have. And we can go start sorting into lead.
Mm. Maybe we should go back to base first, but I'm not sure what we really need. It would just be to get up to a full stack of everything here. So let's wait. Good, we're crushing Rubite. Then it's only Babmonium that we lack. Like. And apparently more Crotinium. That's okay. We can always start mining more if we want to. Also, let's put a radar down. Beautiful. Oh, we, of course, still don't have enough crushed cortinium, but we have sold some ore here. And I guess we should also just do this. Just have a look at the possibilities. Oh, we want, well, so lead ore is used both for, well, just lead plate. And stuff like solder. Question is how much different stuff we want to be producing here. Hmm. Oh, and we need sulfur. No, we need oxygen for this. Okay. Get sulfur dioxide gas, which we can then export or we can burn or we can do whatever. Hmm. Let's have a look. How much lead plate do we think we need? Wrong recipe, apparently. So for nuclear, or oh. advanced nuclear stuff. For the fuel, for all of the nuclear power, and only a few other things. So not a lot. Hmm, letting it mold lead. Oh, we can use those for molten solder and molten brass then. I guess these will be our main purposes of molten or lead in general. You can't make solder without lead, right? Sort of mixture that also requires lead. Lead and tin ingots. Oh, you can? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I think we will just be using the lead. Because now we have it. Brass, cover sink, cover tin sink, and cover lead sink. I think we're just going for solder then here. Or maybe it was a waste to start sorting for lead. But well, solder will be very useful. So 
let's just start producing a little amount, even if we are not going to put it into a train station yet. Yeah. So we need letting it. We don't want the lead plate though. Can we put in molten solder? Oh, I really can just use look for this in here, I guess. We can also use it to make more zinc ingots. No, wait, no, we get it from producing zinc ingots. Put molten lead in, get lead ingots out. Okay, it's just the ingots we need to input, except for into the sink stuff. And when we now need to make sink, we will be smelting it separately, I think. So we need ingots for now. Only ingots. That just doesn't fit into my plans at all, but they were. Maybe we should only produce these then when we actually want to make the solder. Maybe solder is the next thing we want to make. Yeah, let's just leave this as all from for now, actually. I don't want to just start producing it without needing it. Next sorting thing is tin. Which we need popnonium for. Great, we need to go and mine that. Where do we want to mine from? This looks to be the most available. We could start going in the other direction, but there's a lot more biters there, I would guess. We can just continue this rail down and then get from here. Sounds good. Let's do that. We do need to kill some biters though. And I need to go back for more miners, so let's do that first. Also, we might need to start more uh, magazine production. We have 900 yield left. And we're not using it that fast, but I want to have a lot of sniper turrets loaded when we go and kill biters. Turn you to manual. And I guess we should also just start putting miners in here, right? Instead of me having to carry around a lot. Let's just go for four stacks. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Oh, well. Of course, we need to request stuff here. Good. And I talked about magazines, which we are not producing anymore. Just a little bit of production for these. Oh. Anything else? I'm not going to wait for those magazines to start producing. We will just do with whatever we have now. So let's go.
might as well just go here and put a radar down as well, because I was annoyed by a lack of that. Are there any researches we need to do? Mm. Nope. I want this armor. We might as well do this research. We will get to Cobalt and Invar somewhat soon, I hope. Needed to put a radar down. Do we not have radars? Oh no. Have I removed the production of those? Am I not requesting them? Apparently not. Dang it. Yes, give me a full step, please. If we have any, we do produce them right here. God dang it. Anything else we want to research? All of the smelting, I guess. Your thing. Well, we will not be putting down a radar here right now then. Oh, next smelting, go. Dang, this seems like a large base. Oh, several bases clumped together, maybe. We need to get to this and we need the surrounding area to be somewhat clear. So at the minimum, we need to clear this, I think. Yeah, it feels pretty dang dangerous to be this close to anything. Not a lot of uh, pollution spread will get them angry towards us. Lab 2s, I guess we can just use more advanced research in the, these, like alien research stuff. Let's just continue with all of these. Let's have a look around if I could click the right buttons. Let's just bring a tank in case I get in trouble. Oh, come on. Put this back, please. Yeah, I need to remove that, really. And we might as well take some more bases, so let's put a fallback location down here.
Okay. And tanky. Hmm. There are different tiers of tanks, right? Just out of curiosity. Also, there's tankatrons or spidertrons. So there's different tiers of that. I guess that's from Bob's. Interesting. Yeah, we don't have half the stuff for that yet. So never mind that. Also, I forgot to bring my fuel. I guess that's everything. Die. Was that all? I think so. Next research. Now are we going to clear this? It looks so large and dangerous. Come over here, please, and die. Um, let's clear this one down here. I don't feel like spending a lot of time killing biters right now. So I think I will try to limit it as much as possible. Oh, dang it, I pulled a lot more than I wanted there. Going through, oh dear. Okay, let's get these killed off and get healed, repaired. Okay. So this is what we need to mine. We don't need a lot more space, to be honest. Okay. I guess we should just leave it at this. And just try to be careful with the pollution. I mean, this up here is doing good. Good. What does this take? Sulfuric acid? That's easy at least. I'm not sure if we want to do it yet though. Well. Let's... Just ignore it for now. Good.
So for the book Pabmonium and a coal input and at some point sulfuric acid input. And we need some more rail. Wait, what? How did... Oh, I've missed some poles up here. Okay. We will just move the rail over to fit with this a little bit better, I think. Because then we can have this all ready for stagas if we ever need them. Not that I think we will, but... I guess we will just do this. Ignore that I went a little bit too far out here and then... Just be done with it. Let's run power along with this though. Feels a little bit more right. Good. All good. So this will be Bobmonium. Oh, this will just be Bobmonium. This will be Bobmonium sulfuric acid. We might as well get the same coal train that already goes to two different locations to come here as well. This one. So, Bamonium, coal, in Chicago, or time passed. Actually, come now, even though I don't really need you right now. I feel like this, the blueprint for this station type really should have included the build. But it's not too complicated to make, I guess, so... I will just ignore that for now. Robobots. We also need a fuel depot. Amazing how fast you can forget all that you need here.
I think we have everything now, though. So let's just act as if we can't forget anything else. Bob, ammonium. No. Whoops. Get our fuel train. And you can come here right now. Good. Put in a little bit of worker robots. And we're starting to spread pollution. So we need to start cleaning pollution as well. Let's have a look at our chunks. We will just go pretty close to everything here, I think. I don't want to make the large builds right now. That looks like the middle. Of course, we still need to actually... Oh no, when we have the coal depot in here, or here, I guess then we don't really, we can't just put it directly into our filter cleaning annoyingly. So the robot will just have to do a bit more work here. And we need filters, of course. Yeah, let's go up from here. I think again, we will just let it spread a bit of what's from here. This seems to be the largest threat. Oh. So maybe we should go further or enclose it a little bit better. No, I want a blueprint of that. Dang it. I'm not going to move those t 10 tiles down to get that. Okay. We will just... Do it a little bit more thoroughly. Need more cleaning machines. Vacuum cleaners. Okay, if we do this, then we'll only be able to get out over here. But maybe we should just, yeah, let's just put down the rest. And just have it be a bit ugly in here around the trains. So that junk and this junk. And then that's everything. 
Now we probably don't have enough filters, correct. Now we do. Good. <clears throat> Yeah, fully enclosed. And that's everything. Let's put it in a train and get it back to the multi-processing area. I really need a good name for that, so I don't hesitate every time I need to talk about it. Full cargo, multi-processing. Carbonium, AMG, go. Actually, go there. Me follow. Good. So we have all of the ore types now, at least. <coughs> and by ore types, I mean these, not iron ore and copper ore and uranium ore. That's a weird distinction between those, I guess. Oh well. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.